Hi, today we'll have a look at how to use the issue log Excel template. We'll start by hiding the ribbon to have more space. Great. First, let's go into the settings page. As you can see, it allows you to set up data lists that will allow you to visualize your issue progress and overall situation. Let's start with the team member list. Here, you can enter as many team members as you want. Let's add a new one that we'll call Mark Zuckerberg. Perfect. The category slash product list is where we list the products or categories the issues are related to. Let's add a new product called product E. Finally, the status list allows you to enter and modify up to four statuses to indicate which stages your issue is at. At the moment, we have backlog, in progress, to be tested, and closed. We'll leave it as is. Now, let's move on to the most important input page, the Issues page. This table will allow you to create and modify issues. We will go through the process of adding a new issue together. It will be issue 26, and we'll attach it to our newly created product, Product E. As for the owner, we'll assign it to our newly created team member, Mark Zuckerberg. And for the priority, we'll set this as a medium. Let's move on. We'll indicate that it was reported on the 19th of October. And that it is due on the 1st of November. As our issue is still pending, we will not fill in a close date. The resolution delay is an automatically calculated field and is blank as we do not have a close date. As for the status, we'll make it in progress. And the last column automatically indicates if the issue is overdue or not, which in this case it is not. Awesome, we're now ready to start visualizing. Let's go to the core of this tool, the Kanban board, or Issues board. You'll notice that all our tasks are grouped by status and all display the task name, the person it is assigned to, and its due date, so you can easily view the overall situation in a glance. The color coding indicates if the task is a low, medium, high, or urgent priority. The tasks in red are crucial, whereas the ones in green do not hold so much importance. Finally, a little flag in the task card will indicate if the task is overdue or not. If you check in the top right corner, there are two slicers that allow you to filter the issues board and view only specific tasks by team member or priority. Let's look at the task under our newly created team member, Mark Zuckerberg. As you can see, we immediately see the task we just created. It is under progress, it is of medium priority, its name is issue 26, the owner is Mark Zuckerberg, and its due date is on the 1st of November. Let's move on to the results tab. The first submenu is the opened issues dashboard. Unlike the issues board, you do not see a task detail, but more of an overview of the main metrics that are crucial to understand the overall progress and situation. The header indicates the total number of issues, the number of opened issues, the number of overdue issues, and the number of high priority issues. Further down, you have four bar charts indicating the number of opened issues by status, backlog in progress to be tested, the open issues by category or products, the open issues by priority, and the open issues by owner. 
All of these metrics can be filtered by the two filters on the right hand side. The owner, for example, let's select Mark Zuckerberg. As you can see, there's only one issue that is opened. You can also choose to select multiple owners by ticking this button. You can also choose to select a specific category or product. Let's move on to the second dashboard, the overview dashboard. The structure is similar to the open issues dashboard with the filters on the right hand side, key metrics on the top, and several bar charts visualizing issues by status, issues by product, etc. Finally, the opened issue report. This shows a table with all opened issues and the ability to filter by month and year. The overview tasks are highlighted in red. That's it. You know everything you need to know about our issue log Excel template board and you're ready to start using it now.